Hello, and thank you for watching my reflection video. My name is Karen Brown, and I have created this video as a part of the culminating portfolio project for the Master of Educational Technology program at Boise State University. I originally enrolled in this program in the fall of 2013 because my school had recently implemented a one-to-one -one iPad program, meaning that each student had his or her own iPad to keep throughout the school year. However, over the last two years, I have learned much more than just how to use iPads in classrooms. I have learned about educational theory. I have learned about how to evaluate technology programs, how to plan lessons with technology, how to create effective professional development that incorporates technology, and more. This program has been instrumental in igniting in me a passion for educational technology, which brought me from my role as high school math teacher to the job I have now, which is a power school administrator and technology integrationist. In the next portion of this video, I will discuss a few of the artifacts that I created throughout the program and why I find them to be the most important artifacts out of all those I created. The first project I'm going to talk about is the instructional design project I created in EdTech 503. For this project, we were given the opportunity to create a fully contained unit of instruction outside of the content area that we normally taught. At the time, I was teaching high school math, but I also had a license to teach Spanish that I hadn't used in a while, so I decided to work with the Spanish teacher at my school to create a unit on the preterite verb tense. I considered this artifact to be one of the most important that I created because it was the first artifact I created where I was required to create a variety of lessons that use technology. It wasn't just one activity on one day, but multiple activities that spanned several days. It really pushed the limits of what I knew how to do and expanded my creativity skills, which in turn greatly improved my technology integration skills. Because of the learning that occurred while creating this project, it made a big impact on my professional work. Planning a technology-rich lesson for another teacher taught me techniques I could apply to my own classroom. What's more, the skills I gained from completing this artifact have helped me in my new role as a technology integrationist because I now have the confidence in my ability to incorporate technology into any content area, whether I've taught it before or not. Every time I plan a technological lesson for a new content area, I grow a little more professionally and it all started with the skills I gained through the completion of the instructional design project. The technology integration skills I learned while completing the instructional design project are meaningful and important to me because I use these skills in my current position to help teachers bring technology into their own classrooms. I originally entered the education field because I wanted to help students. I did that for four years as a high school math teacher. Now, I can help even more students by helping all the teachers on staff at the school where I work now. It is important to me to show teachers how technology can be used to improve their instruction and increase student engagement so that our students receive the best education possible that gives them the most opportunities in the future. In EdTech 504, I was asked to write a research paper that connected an educational theory with some form of technology. I chose to write about the constructivist theory and blogs. The constructivist theory states that the best learning happens when learners are given the opportunity to interact with the material themselves and find a way to fit the new knowledge in with the knowledge they already have. This theory emphasizes the importance of allowing each individual to create his or her own unique interpretation of the material to be learned. In my paper, I argued that blogs fit in well with the constructivist theory for two main reasons. First of all, blogs are used mainly for writing blog posts. This means that they are an excellent resource for students to write reflections. Also, blogs typically have a comment feature, which means that the learners can comment on each other's posts, leading to collaboration. In my paper, I used this information to show how the reflective and collaborative nature of blogs fits in well with constructivism. I believe this artifact is one of the most important artifacts I created because it helped me see that we don't incorporate technology into the classroom simply because it's the latest fad 
or because our boss told us to. We incorporate technology into the classroom because the potential benefits for students are grounded in educational theory. The artifact is also important because as I learned about constructivism, I also learned about the similarities and differences between this theory and other educational theories, such as behaviorism and cognitivism. And once I knew about educational theory, I could use that information to properly implement technology. This assignment impacted my professional work in several ways. First of all, learning about educational theory and its connection to technology gave me the tools to articulate why technology should be incorporated into the classroom. When I taught high school math, I felt confident in my decision to incorporate technology into my classroom because my choices were based on sound educational theory. In my new role as a technology integrationist, I can use the relationship between technology and educational theory I discovered while creating this artifact to communicate to reluctant teachers that there are solid reasons to bring technology into the classroom. Also, this artifact impacted my professional work because by learning about the relationship between blogs and constructivism, I learned the process I need to follow to find other forms of technology that fit with constructivism or other educational theories. This gave me the tools to be creative and find new and innovative ways to incorporate technology into the classroom. I found this artifact to be meaningful for various reasons. To start, it taught me about constructivism, which showed me that students learn best when they interact with the content and find its meaning for themselves. Before learning about constructivism, I taught primarily using lectures with little student engagement. After completing this artifact, I can see that the methods I used were not effective. Because of the research I conducted for this paper, I understand how to more effectively teach students and what's more, I learned how to do it while using technology. One of the main takeaways I had from this assignment, and really from the entire EdTech program, is that lecturing and teacher-led lessons are typically not the best choice for student learning. Students should be engaged and active in the content, and this discovery was one of the most meaningful things I learned from this artifact and from the EdTech program. For this artifact, I conducted an evaluation of my school's one-to-one -one iPad program and created a formal report as part of the final project for EdTech 505. To complete this evaluation, I started by speaking with my school's superintendent to determine the specific goals for the program. Next, I determined whether those goals had been achieved by conducting teacher surveys, student surveys, and analyzing information about paper use. In my final report, I gave detailed information about my findings and also gave suggestions on how the program could be improved to better achieve its goals in the future. I found this artifact to be one of the most important assignments I completed because it not only taught me how to conduct an evaluation, but taught me why it is important to do so. Technology is constantly changing which means that even the best laid technology plans only have the potential to be relevant for a few years. Eventually, the plan must be reevaluated and tweaked to accommodate the changes and advances in technology. Also, technology is not the only thing that changes over time. Schools are constantly changing as students leave, enter, and grow older. This artifact taught me that evaluation of a program is vitally important to ensure it is keeping up with the constant changes in technology and the student body. This artifact is also important to me because it taught me how to effectively conduct an evaluation. When I first read about the final project I was going to complete in EdTech 505, I was definitely apprehensive because it seemed very daunting. However, once I was finished with the project, I saw that conducting the surveys and analyzing paper use isn't that difficult. I understood the importance of evaluation and was more confident about my ability to carry out another one in the future. This artifact impacted my professional work by showing me the importance of evaluation in educational technology. In reality, evaluation is all around us in our everyday lives. We evaluate which brand of paper towels is a better deal. We evaluate how much money to spend on leisure activities given our income. Teachers evaluate their students all the time using tests, quizzes, and informal questioning in class. However, 
I didn't connect the dots between evaluation and educational technology until I completed this assignment. I now understand the importance of evaluating school technology programs to see how they could be improved, and I will use the skills I gained to continue this process in the future. What's more, I learned the benefit of evaluating myself as well. I should constantly be evaluating my own performance and use of technology. The same principle applies to my new job as a technology integrationist as I have learned how important it is to improve the way I work with teachers and make sure that the suggestions I give them are worthwhile so that I can give them the best advice possible. This artifact is meaningful to me because it showed me the importance of evaluation. It is difficult to make meaningful improvements without knowledge of the goals and whether or not they've been achieved and what to change to better achieve them in the future. My current position as a technology integrationist includes many different responsibilities, from teaching technology skills to students, to working with teachers to plan technology-rich lessons, to providing professional development sessions to all staff. Each of these responsibilities, and even those I didn't mention, would benefit from a self-evaluation. Every time I complete one of the tasks that my job entails, I plan to evaluate my performance to see how I could improve. Without the final evaluation project I completed in EdTech 505, I would not understand how important it is to use evaluation to constantly improve my performance and the technology use of the entire school. Equally important to understanding the importance of evaluation is understanding the best method to conduct it, a skill I also learned while completing this artifact. This assignment has changed the way I plan to grow professionally and has given me the tools to do so, and it is for these reasons that this artifact is so meaningful to me. These assignments were part of the curriculum for EdTech 541, a class which taught me all about integrating technology into the classroom. For the content area projects, I was required to use a form of educational technology that wasn't typically found in a high school math classroom, and I chose to use ebooks. In the activity I planned, I asked students to create a short ebook about a famous mathematician or mathematical topic so they could learn that math is about more than numbers and actually has a history of its own. For the social media project, I was asked to create a lesson plan that included at least three types of social media. I created a lesson about trigonometric ratios and right triangles that started with students finding images of right triangles in the Creative Commons on Flickr, then moved to having students save images and helpful links to a Pinterest page, then students would teach the ratios to other students by creating a voice thread presentation, and finally students would receive feedback from math experts via Facebook. These artifacts are among the most important of all those I created because they gave me the opportunity to plan real lessons that I would actually teach using technology I had never considered. It opened my eyes to the many different types of technology that are available to teachers, even those that may seem like they would only work for a certain content area. For example, I used to think that ebooks would only work in an English classroom. But after completing the content area assignment, I now see that an ebook can be used in any lesson that requires students to write about a topic. Similarly, I never thought that social media like Pinterest or Facebook had a place in the classroom, but once I was asked to create a lesson plan using them, I understand that they can have educational value if implemented appropriately. These assignments taught me not to write off a certain technology's potential for education just because of my preconceived notions, and that's why I consider it one of the most important artifacts I created. First of all, the lessons I created as part of these artifacts were lessons that I would actually use in my classes if I were still teaching high school math. Unfortunately, I moved into my role as a technology integrationist before I had the chance to use these in my own classroom, but I could easily share them with my colleagues at my new school so that they could use them in their own classrooms. However, more than that, this artifact impacted my professional work by opening my eyes to new ways that technology could be used to teach students. In the school where I teach, social media and YouTube are extremely popular. Before this assignment, I never considered the possibility that these websites might have a place in the classroom. 
However, after completing the assignment, I see that they have great potential to engage learners and help them get involved in their own learning. As a technology integrationist, it's important that I know about a variety of technologies and how to incorporate them into the classroom, and these artifacts definitely gave me the tools to find that knowledge in the future. These artifacts are especially meaningful for me because they helped me to answer the question that originally motivated me to enroll in the program in the first place. How can I use iPads or other technology in my classroom? While creating these artifacts and all the other artifacts in EdTech 541, I learned many new ways of incorporating technology into the classroom that I had never heard of or even considered before. These assignments expanded what I was able to do as a teacher, and more importantly, they gave me the tools I need to be a successful technology integrationist. For these reasons, these two assignments are very meaningful to me. When I originally enrolled in the EdTech program, I wanted to learn about how to use technology, specifically iPads, more effectively with my students. However, over the last two years, this program has come to mean so much more. Before enrolling in the EdTech program, I taught math to my students by doing the same thing every day. I lectured and gave them an assignment of math problems to complete. My students told me multiple times that they were bored, but I had never been taught any other way and I didn't know anything different, so I just continued on with the lectures and the homework. But throughout the course of this program, my thoughts gradually changed. I started to see that there were lots of other options besides lecturing, and I learned that lecturing is one of the least effective ways to teach students. The assignments outlined above give a great overview of all the main things this program taught me. First, through the Instructional Design Project, the Content Area Project, and the Social Media Project, I learned that there are many ways to bring technology into the classroom if I just take the time to search for worthwhile ideas. The research paper I wrote about constructivism in blogs showed me that there are reasons grounded in decades-old educational theory that detail the potential benefits of using technology in the classroom. Finally, the evaluation project I completed in EdTech 505 showed me the necessity of constantly evaluating technological programs and personal performance to constantly improve the way that technology is incorporated. When taken together, every assignment I completed in the EdTech program has led me to this realization. Not knowing any different is no excuse to continue teaching with ineffective practices. There are numerous ideas and methods available for technology integration if one takes the time to look for them. It is not difficult to find a way to use technology if you use the guidelines in educational theory as a foundation, and it's easy to keep improving if you constantly evaluate your own performance. Overall, this program has done much more than I ever thought it would. It has ignited in me a passion for educational technology. Now that I've seen the ways that technology can be used to engage students and improve their learning, I can't think of ever going back to not using it. This program has truly changed the way that I look at teaching, and it is my hope that in the future, I can use this knowledge and this passion to inspire other teachers to embrace technology as well.